Hey guys, Silence Yao here. Welcome back to another Utah Macross Gacha video. So hopefully you guys have caught up with the last video that I did regarding the brand new missions for Yummy Curie and of course the Bingo Mission Cards page 1. Uh, as of today, yes, if you guys are following me here on uh, YouTube because you're subscribed and you have seen my community post, if not, you're on my Instagram account and following me there, make sure you guys do all the wonderful stuff follow me on Instagram and of course subscribe to the YouTube channel um, and you get yourself up to date with Uta Micros content uh, especially regarding to what's new and um, the other stuff that I usually don't make videos about <laughs> anyway guys um, before we begin with all the gacha uh, information let's talk about what's newly added to the game uh, since last night's server reset so basically Merry Christmas Without You has been added as a permanent song um, then of course the Yami Kure missions including the bingo mission card so hopefully you guys who have watched the video would know what you need to do to get it settled by today technically you should have been on page 2 just like me so let's dive into the mission page uh, we'll talk a bit about the bingo card page 2 first before we move on to all the gacha stuff sadly to say for bingo page 3 I probably won't make a video for it unless I have the time to. Um, I'm still currently on the hunt for a permanent job. Um, so yeah, anyways, page two. So we're gonna break down everything here. As you can tell, I've already cleared quite a bit of it. And there are a few things here that, you know, will take a few days to clear as usual. So let's start with the top left as, uh, as usual in order. So you just have to collect um, the exclusive plate. If you finish page one, of the bingo missions you will be given this new year's exclusive uh, episode plate that features max in his yukata um, so that's pretty nice and of course if you have powered up the episode plate to level 70 this particular mission will clear because it needs you to have that particular episode plate at its level 70 form so yeah and of course the second one here as you can tell i have not completed it yet this one is pretty easy. So basically you just have to collect a total of 10 episode plates. So if you've already pulled your um, free template pool for the day, um, when this page refreshes to its second form, uh, or rather the bingo missions goes into the second page and you pull your template pool, you will have this completed straight away. Uh, if you don't, it's fine. As you can tell, I've gotten seven out of 10 plates already. You can, have this number increased through the episode plates that you gain from Valkyrie operations or maybe when you're playing the event songs or the songs from the regular live page and you, you get episode plates as rewards um, those episode plates add up into this quantity so that's pretty easy to clear if you don't have like maybe super dimension tickets or the free daily pools you know to help you accumulate the quantity no worries technically you've got two days worth to try and get this done before you go into page three all right moving along this one's the same as the first page basically you have to pull the gacha a total of five times of course they will notify you as well template pools are only considered a single pool so not too difficult i've already gotten one out of five um i guess it's mainly due to the um free daily pool so if you do it today there's three free daily pools then of course if you do the template pool as well that's technically four pools and of course if you're doing the featured gacha banner today technically that's a total of five pools you should have this completed by the end of today moving along so this one basically needs you to play five event songs easy as that if you've been grinding for the red boss event this should the, the easiest thing to clear uh, if it is difficult for you to clear there's something wrong there <laughs> you you should be playing the events the events give you way better rewards than you play the the game with the regular lives you know events are basically the thing about games right <laughs> it's the most exciting part of games anyways um the second um mission on the second row in the middle basically requires you to score uh, uh, a score of 800,000 or more. This should be easy if you're cl trying to clear the Yami Kure missions um, that require you to hit 9 million high score. This is undoubtedly the easiest one you should be able to clear so instantly 
play it. <laughs> Alright, this one will be the one that is going to delay the progress because it requires you to log in a total of 3 days um, accumulatively. So yeah, even if you don't log in tomorrow and you log in the next day, as long as you log in a total of 3 days before you know the whole bingo mission cards disappear, you should be fine. So this one uh, will unlock page 3 technically on today's Monday, right? So basically it will be unlocked on Wednesday. Um, so yeah, I guess I will probably update page 3 of the Bingo missions. If I am free, I will do it as a video. If not, I will do it as an Instagram post and a YouTube community post. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and subscribe to YouTube if you want to uh, get a full translated list on page 3 of the bingo missions. Alright, moving along, bottom left. So this one is pretty easy, you get a score rank of double S five times. So if you've been, like I said, if you've been grinding the events, songs, the raid bosses, this should be easily cleared. Um, moving along, uh, Cho Uta Hime mode activated a total of five times while clearing the song. So that's not too difficult as well. Last one. So play any song, uh, wait, what? No, no, not any song. <laughs> Have any diva um, at level 3. So um, this one has got to do with the uh, diva of, uh, proficiency. So if you've been grinding your divas um, for their event songs or the songs in particular, you will notice that they gain experience and sometimes they level up. Yes, that's the level they are talking about. So Divas proficiency. So as long as you've been doing what I have recommended since day one of Ultima Cross and uh, ever since they introduced the Diva proficiency, um, you just need a minimum of Utahime proficiency level 3 for all 10 Divas and you should be good. Main reason because, well, if you guys are not familiar with all of this and or you've probably forgotten, Diva Proficiency allows you to unlock your Diva Proficiencies for other songs because they are capped at level 4. Once you hit level 4, you cannot progress to level 5 onwards, mainly because your Diva Proficiency for another song is not at level 3. So that's the main reason why I always promote you guys to grind every brand new song, all your 10 divas to, you know, diva proficiency level 3, so you can have that bare minimum unlocked. Anyways guys, that's it for the Mingo mission list. Hopefully you guys are doing well with the Yamukure missions. I know it's a bit ridiculous. 9 million high score. I'm still trying to crack my head on how to achieve that 9 million. Although I have yet to start on it. <laughs> right now, I'm just doing the bare minimum. Like um, the Red Boss event. I'm just equipping the necessary event plates to gain the bonus percentage and then of course a bit of a high score achieving plates to dish out damage to the raid bosses. So it's not a full setup for a high score achievement. Uh, so I guess I can probably do that with the regular lives if I'm trying to attain more radars to pull out raid bosses, you know, that kind of stuff that you should be doing technically for raid boss events. Um, then of course at the same time clearing your Yamikure missions or uh, Makina's uh, Kiawawa challenge and then Reina's VOP challenges as well. So there's a lot of stuff going on for the new year. Uh, hopefully it is keeping you um, busy and excited to continue playing with Hamacross because there's a lot of stuff to do and you know get, getting all these freebies at the beginning of the year to help you along the way for the rest of the year at the same time opening up your endless possibilities within Utah Macross. Alright, <laughs> enough of all the exciting parts about the missions and all that. Let's dive into the gacha page and take a look at Kaname's brand new Yami Kure episode for episode play and see if it's actually more powerful than the recently releases, uh, especially comparing to Reina's um Yami Kure episode play. So let's take a look here. Oh, we're on the last page and as we can see, no special notes attached to Kaname's brand new episode plate. I have a feeling this episode plate comes with uh, 
the brand new life skill that we've recently been seeing. So, ooh, 3,818 total score at its plus 25 luck value. I think it's the same as Ray Ray's. Oh wow, they are the same. So with that said, um, without this plus 25 luck value, this episode plate comes in at a total score of 3,568, which is, like I said in Reyna's video, it is the current highest uh, total score for this generation worth of 6 star episode plates. Pay attention to the um, 3 other divas that can use this episode plate, especially Freya, uh, Kumo Kumo and Basara fans out there. Um, if I'm not wrong, I think this episode plate should technically be the same as Reyna and it should come with that life skill that requires your diva's affection levels. So for those of you who are Kaname, uh, Mikumo and Freya plus Basara fans, hopefully your favourite waifus or husband will have their affection levels maxed out at level 60 so that you can get the full utilisation of this episode plate at 120% boost in score. Center scale, charm up. So units charm is boosted by 90% up. Probably a good center skill for the current raid boss event, but let's see if it comes with a score achievement active skill. Um, yeah, it does apparently. So, but it's not the best. Um, the older seven star, or rather, no, not seven star. Older six star episode plates come with that um, 10 second duration, 100% boost in score. This one, however, is the newer renditions of 6 star episode plates with 5 seconds at 70% boost in score. It's okay, but it is a good alternate se uh, center p position episode plate if you don't have any 7 star episode plates to use. So it's decent. And there it is. It comes with that brand new life skill. So it's a short duration ability. So it should give you a hint that the um, current event songs line up for the raid bosses are uh, kind of in the short duration but not really because the main raid boss featured episode plate uh, does feature the song Ichido Dake Koi Nara so that song is technically kind of a long duration rather than a short duration <laughs> but you know you can always have a mix and mash of certain episode plates with short and long duration abilities because they activate in different portions or different timings within the song, so that is a thing to look out for, especially if you're trying to build a full um, episode plate setup for you know high score purposes. So yeah, so with this said, this should be the same, um, I guess, want value for um, collectors of Kaname and of course for high score achievement players out there. Uh, it's, it's the similar thing for Ray Ray. So, like I said in Ray Ray's video, if you're a Reyna fan, definitely you want to get it, especially for all the other divas that are featured within this episode plate for usage as well. Um, if you're a regular high score plate player, I mean Utame Cross player, um, if you already have an episode plate from this series, the pink series, or with this life skill already achieved from the older gachas. You know, I don't see why you wouldn't want to get this one as well because considering that the total score is technically better than the ones in the past that have been released. So yeah, if you have the extra singing stones, why not go for it? Or you know, you know, if you are a costume collector like me, it is definitely a must pull because Kaname's costume, like Ray Ray's, is locked behind the gacha which is kind of a bummer. So here we are, let's do this guys. We'll start off with all the free pools first. So first things first, let's start off with the afternoon sessions free daily pool. Got to clear off that quantity required from the bingo missions, right? So here we go. So didn't see any load bars. No Valkyries? Okay, so I'm gonna skip all this because it should technically... Ooh! So we got somewhat of a decently rare plate from the common pool. So that's nice. Hopefully today's um, luck is pretty decent. So it seems like I'm running on bad luck for 7 star pools. But in terms of all the 6 star featured gachas, I've been pulling up some of the plates. So alright, let's see. Um, 
some of the episode plays are expiring soon, so I will do a head trick pool here as well. That's Anyway, I've still got like 72 tickets. They've been very generous on the Super Dimension tickets though. But like I said, um, usually free stuffs kind of ruin the luck um, fluctuation <laughs> of the game. <laughs> but we do get a bit of a very slow load at the beginning though, so that's kind of ominous. Oh no. Okay, we're getting some sort of a mediocre luck on the Super Dimension pool. So that's fine. So hopefully the good luck comes on the main banner. Yeah, let's skip all the common stuff. Oh, nice. Okay. We only have a single red box in this one. There we go. So it shouldn't evolve. There we go. Okay, I don't see a lot of this ray ray blade though. So that's not too bad. Oh, it's gonna evolve. Ooh, nice. Alright, a tiny bit of progression is always good. Even though it's not anything too fancy too. Okay, let's go ahead and do the... Uh, I guess the free template pool for the day. Giving a lot of episode plates as usual for every start of the year. But you know, it's been a trend for me since they started doing this. Um, the New Year's has always been giving me horrible luck with all the free pools. Single Valkyrie? Oh, a golden orb? Seriously? Okay, so we're expecting to see maybe a red box to evolve. Hmm. There we go. No evolution on this one. Ooh. Star Singer Mikumo, okay. Don't see this very often as well. Yep. It's always nice to get more costume points. Okay, so this is the one that will evolve. Oh! <laughs> the Basara Pigeon and the uh, Gumlin Pigeon as well. So I always like these Utah Macross exclusive illustrations. They are so hilariously funny. And some of them are pretty nice, like this one. So it is an old episode play for Milane. Um, isn't that bad of an episode play if I'm not wrong? Uh, even though it's pretty old, as you can tell, it has like a total score of 3,400. That's very low in this current generation. <laughs> um, uh, but it does have a li long skill uh, life support, so no special notes attached to it. So yeah, it's one of those episode plays I don't really use that often as well. But like I said, extra points for costumes, it's always a good thing because it will give you a chance to obtain um, a large episode all for unlocking costumes in the future that you will want. So, yeah. Anyways, let's move on to the main banner. We're gonna do the free pool first before we do the discounted pool. So, at, at least attaining one copy of the new 6 star plate for Kaname would be good. Because right now, it seems like the... the, the sell or right? The worthwhile costumes for the month of January has got to belong to just the Yang Mikuei costumes. Um, the upcoming costumes for uh, Ningmei and Ranka... Not, not so special, I guess, except for maybe Minmei, considering that Minmei's costume is an Uta Macross exclusive costume, so you don't see it in the shows. Alright, so let's do this, the main pool of the day. 10 plates discounted. Hopefully, we get something fancy full. Oh, a bit of a load there. Very smooth selling load. Hmm. Like I said, I just need a bare minimum requirement costume points for Kanami's costume. But um, if we do get the main feature plate, that will be fantastic as well. Oh, single red box. It seems like today's luck is really horrible. Hmm. See a bit of Gumlin, and yep, yeah, today is actually Gumlin's birthday. So, happy birthday to me. Well, I guess the most sensible pilot <laughs> in all of the Macross franchise. <laughs> okay. Alright, so it is a flop. Didn't even get a single costume point for Kaname's costume, so that's kind of a bummer. 
Oh man. Do I have enough singing stones to do the earth template pool? Um, I technically just need 600 singing stones for the upcoming two more gachas for the rest of January. It should be fine. I will have 500 remaining, then I just need 100 more from the next upcoming events. So, yeah. Why not? Let's do another template pool. And this should be it. I can't afford more. Hopefully we get something nice though. Okay, smooth sailing load once again. Is this a waste of my money? I don't know. It seems like it is. Oh man. Oh wow. What? What? The Valkyrie animations gave me a very bad sense of hope. And here the game surprises me with some golden boxes. Okay, that's fine. Oh, there we go. Bare minimum mat. Wonder what the next rainbow box will give me. Will it be another Ray Ray episode plate? There we go. Oh. Okay, why is the game tossing me all these very, very old episode plates that's kind of pointless to me? But, like I said, we got the bare minimum at a very, very costly price. Uh, we do get some 5-star episode plates, but, you know, it could have been better. Oh well. At least the Ray Ray's episode plate was decent. Uh, Freya's episode plate. You know, that plate was technically like, first generation Utama Cross episode plates. Kind of pointless already. Uh, in fact, I don't use it at all. I mean, back in the day when it was like the only healing play, I guess. Yeah, it comes with that life, life skill that heals. But you know, when your life drops at 8% and below, it will only heal 18%. That's pathetic for this day and age. Like, most of the new healing episode plays with the life skill. Um, I apologize for all the noise. Um, yeah, it seems like someone's in the kitchen cooking stuff and... Uh, <laughs> Anyways, like I said, um, new generation episode plates with the life skill healing effect you know, usually activates like maybe around the 50% range, 45% range, or maybe sometimes even lower. Then they heal way more than 18%, like some, some of them heal at 25%. 25% um, you know, I think is the highest I've seen. And yeah, so... This place is definitely obsolete. I'm sorry for your fans, but this this plate of your waifu is completely useless in this day and age now. There are so many way better episode plates that Freya has probably um, than this one. So yeah, and combo bonus for Ray Ray's episode plate yeah, is pretty decent like I said when it first appeared in the rest of the videos for the month of January. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. Um, what do you guys think about Yamukure missions? Is the 9 million high score request a bit too ridiculous? Um, is the knocking in the kitchen a bit annoying? <laughs> Let me know. Or are the rest of the missions, um, the uh, Kawawa challenge, the VOP challenge, the bingo missions, uh, too much of a hassle for you for the month of January to tackle? Is it too much <laughs> going on? I mean, it is the start of the year, so why not celebrate the year with a lot more free stuff? Just that you gotta work hard for it, so... Anyways guys, that's it. I'll see you guys soon in another video. Uh, probably gonna be a gaming video uh, since the next Utah Macross Gacha video will be some time away. I definitely need to get back to gaming on my channel. Uh, <laughs> it's been a while, it's been a while. Until then, bye!